Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued line let's play Master Detective Archive Rain Code for Nintendo Switch. My name is Slightless Bio, this is Soybean Skipper Channel, and today we try to we try to stop the entire city from going up in flames. Yeah, that that's um you know that's that's no small thing, right? I mean it's an easy task. Uh, the third one is in the Kamasaki district. I hope the peacekeepers don't catch us before we get there. I hope you all have an amazing, fantastic play day today. As soon as I press the A button, we started walking away, and then the screen loaded. And we got trouble. Uh, throw it. Or do nothing. Take this. What? I tried to throw the brick. <laughs> <laughs> That is worth it. That is totally worth it. I will, I will gladly take that, just to see that scene, cause that was awesome. Again, the Nintendo Switch controller strikes again on me. Huh? Found you. But that was worth it. Damn you! And it's How even left and right. This? Why is the left access to the right? So I mean, it was very intuitive there. I just. I just messed up. Was a nice pitch. No Thank chance. you. Uh oh. You, you bastards! <laughs> Don't move! Damn you! Did I press the right button? Hey, wait! Help me! <laughs> hey. <laughs> Oh my god! I got him! Th thank you. Yeah, I'm glad he's not dead. Hurry. Right. I mean, she just went up to him and was like, yeah, we'll push him over. Who who's there? Shh. You're too loud. It's me. Chromie Wendy! <sighs> I finally found you. How you doing? Kurumi? What's the black girl doing here? Oh, shush. Your screen time's already over. No, it's not! She can have as much screen time as she wants. I saw you on the news. You're a terrorist, Yuma? No! It's a misunderstanding. <laughs> I know. I'd never doubt my hero. Aw, thanks. Why is she so friendly with you? Oh, shush. No, 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 no. Shush. By the way, Yuma, despite everything going on, you're holding a woman's hand. Guess you're not too bothered by it. No, 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 no. This, this is what it looks like, Romy. No, this is a formality for the investigation, sort of. Pleased to meet you. My name is Fubuki. I am Yuma's partner. No, 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 don't say that word! Partner? No, no, this is misunderstanding! Yes. In order to share time together, we clutch our hands tight to one another. No, 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 you're not explaining this right! I mean, you're explaining it right, but you're explaining it wrong! Until Yuma dies. No, even in death, I am sworn to never let go. A cup of Brokey! Uh, huh. Romeo, it's not all it looks like! Um, please don't misunderstand. This is necessary for the investigation. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it is. No! Look at you! Grinning while surrounded by girls. I hope pervy future criminal detectives like you all explode. And I hope annoying little perfect ghosts explode too. But unfortunately, it's an imperfect world. We always don't get what we want. No oh, way! You are gonna explode soon! <laughs> Alright, she got me there. I can't argue with that. Oh, right! I need to disarm the bomb. Huh? Bomb? There's another one? Yeah, there's one right in front of us. This is a bomb? What's going on here? There's no time, so I'll make it quick. 
Hopefully not five hours. I mean, we only got like 45 minutes. We don't have a lot of time to explain. And that's everything. I see. Yuma, you got dragged into a big mess. You really are a master detective. Trouble seems to seek you out. Everywhere you go, luck goes with you. I'm not lucky. <laughs> Hey, with a lucky student. Hey, you got me instead of luck. <laughs> I don't know which one's worse. <laughs> anyway, so you only set up the bombs at those four locations? Hmm? Yeah, why? Interesting. So the flooding in Maranomon District probably has nothing to do with it. Flooding? How's it flooding? Just a little while ago, a flood started in Maranomon District. Now it's over a meter underwater. How did that happen? Should it be because of the first explosion? But the only damage back then was to the phone booth. I don't remember any pipes bursting. Yeah. I went to see where the explosion took place. There wasn't much damage to the surrounding area. But if it has nothing to do with the bomb... Why is there flooding in Maranomon District? I don't know. Uh, flood started in Mar 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 Maranomon District, which is now over a meter underwater. Hmm. I like a little boat Yuma, there. Perhaps our concerns should be for the bomb at hand. I believe we are running low on time. Right. We need to disarm that bomb right now. Kurumi. You need to get to some place safe and hide. Yes, we need to do that. Like, can we stop talking and do that first? All right, let's do this. Yes, let's. All right, figure it out. All right, what goes in the question mark? Up, left, down, to right. Right. It's amazing how my brain just read that as up, left, down. Disarming code accepted. Detonation circuit severed. Confirmed. Detonation circuit severed. Woohoo! <sighs> I managed to disarm it. There's only one left. Wait, Kurumi, you were here? Why didn't you run away? <laughs> I want to do my part too. While you disarmed the bomb, I was thinking the whole thing over. Yeah? And I'm sure of it. Something must be happening behind the scenes here. Well, obviously. Huh? What do you mean? The strange request you were given is one thing, but isn't this Shachi guy dying also bizarre? Yeah, I mean, it's all bizarre, really. That criminal declaration being immediately sent to the peacekeeper seems out of place, too. All that does is hurt the Resistance's plans. That's right, but... When laying out the facts on the surface, if something seems inconsistent, then there must be a hidden truth. I, I really like her. I'm just repeating what my grandpa said, but I think it applies to this case. I see. I can't accept Shachi's death. I refuse to believe he would try to frame me and destroy the city. He didn't seem like the type who'd do that. So we have to investigate. I'll go and check out the Resistance's hideout. Huh? I love that safe. You can't go there. The peacekeepers are all over Doya District. Yeah, I still love that safe, though. I'm Kanai Ward's best informant. I'll absolutely get any info that will help you solve the case. Uh, be careful, please. Wait, you can't go there alone, Kurumi. It's too dangerous. Don't worry. It's not the first time I've taken risks. Once I'm done, we'll meet up at the hotel in Kamasaki District. The master detectives are staying there, right? I'm off. Be careful. Wait, Kurumi! There she goes. She sure seems lively. I like her. 
I'm a little no, I'm really worried for her. <laughs> I have no choice except to trust her right now. I like how it says that. I'm a little no, I'm really worried. Yep, 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 yep. You're, you're more than worried. I know. I like her too. You're not. It's okay. Anyway, we need to handle the next bomb. The countdown has already started. Oh shoot, you're right. Keep forgetting about that. This one is 30 minutes. The time limit got even shorter. Um, is the next bomb in a secret shrine in the middle of a desert? Uh, next bombs is, uh... It's not the academy, is it? No, it's in the shrubbery at Etheria Academy. Yeah, it is the academy. Let's go disarm it. That's what I thought. It's in a shrubbery. You will build me a shrubbery. Oh, hold on. That's... I just remembered. One of the resistance leaders said he had a shop in Kamasaki District. I own a small shop in Kamasaki District. I had totally forgotten about that. We might be able to find resistance members there. We still have 30 minutes, so I think we can make it in time. Should we go pay him a visit? I, I guess. Well, we course. have time. Adventurers and detectives both seek out the truth. We do. But where is this shop you speak of? No idea. Um, wait, what kind of shop did Margolo say he owned? The old guy who said he hated Amaterasu, right? Probably some old guy shop. Probably a bookshop. An old guy shop? Uh, let's look around and see if anything fits that description. You know, on the third floor, there's a bookshop. Huh. Huh. Oh, I guess we had to look around. The game just took us right there. Oh, good job, Shinigami. Hey, relax. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to talk. You're not here to kill me? No. Kill you? Of course not. I'd like to know what the heck is going on. Why would you think that? You probably think the Resistance framed you. Uh, yeah? And you didn't? The request Shachi gave me has made me a suspect for terrorism. I... I know nothing about those bombs. I really don't. You don't know? Listen. Sure, uh, I'd love to see Amaterasu get blown up. But I wouldn't take advantage of someone uninvolved. Revenge must be taken with our own hands. Or it's meaningless. You may feel that way, but other members of the Resistance may feel differently. I manage all the funds. If this was planned by the team, there's no way I wouldn't have heard about it. Damn, what the heck is going on? This bombing is completely unrelated to the Resistance. The only possible explanation is Shachi acted on his own. Yeah, but the problem with that is he's dead. Shachi? But Shachi committed suicide on the roof of your hideout. Yeah. What? Shachi's dead? Nope. Yeah. That's impossible. I was going to say, nope. It's not impossible because, yep, he's dead. I'm sorry. I hate to be the one to say it, but... Yeah, he's kind of dead. It's true. I found his body. The peacekeepers were chasing him before he shot himself in the head with his own gun. That's not possible. Even if he was cornered. Shachi isn't the kind who'd kill himself. Wait. Hold on. Did you say with his own gun? Yeah, why? Is there something I should know about it? I think so. After you left the hideout to do the job, something happened. Oh, what's that? Shachi had just returned to the office after mediating a fight. After that was done, he put the gun back in the safe and securely locked it. Okay, then how did the gun show up? So what? You sure are dense. Are you really a detective? What if Shachi's death was not a suicide, but a homicide? 
You think someone else took Shachi's gun from the safe and shot him? If that's the case, there aren't many people who can open that safe. Uh, just people in the resistance, right? There's still a chance Shachi took the gun out himself and maybe had it taken from him. No. The chances are far too slim. Because Shachi would never draw his gun. Since the gun was concealed, don't you think it'd be difficult to take it from him? Even if you were up close? It's true, he didn't draw his gun in front of me. In fact, it even seems like he actively avoided doing so. The safe was only recently brought to the office. Not many people know how to open it. Who does? Only the leaders in the hideout at the time knew anything about it. All right, new clue. Safe at resistance. The safe was only recently was only recently bought. Haha. Only resistance leaders know how to open it. So who's the resistant leaders besides Shachi? The leaders at the hideout were Icardi. Oh, all of them. Servan. Okay, so yeah, that's what I thought. Yuruka, and you, Margola. I had nothing to do with it. I returned to the store after you left the hideout and spoke to customers the whole time. If you suspect me, then talk to them. I'm no liar. So he has an alibi. I'd like to check what the customers say, but... So cross him off our list? Yuma, we are low on time. We are low on time. I'm sorry, Fubuki, just a bit longer. Margola, do you know where the other leaders are? I don't know. I haven't gone back to the hideout since. What can you tell me about the other leaders? You want me to sell out my comrades? Well, one of them betrayed you and everyone... That, everything that you believe in, right? If only the leaders could have taken the gun and murdered Shachi... Then they're all suspects. If one of them did murder Shachi, wouldn't you want to know? Yeah, exactly. Wouldn't you want to know? After all, that's why you told me about Shachi's gun, right? Mm. Come on. Come on. Fine. I'll tell you. Thank you. Who should I ask about? All of them. Let's start with Icardi. Can you tell me about Icardi? He was originally a competitive swimmer. He's proud of his physical prowess and works as a delivery man. I heard Shachi himself invited him to join the resistance. He's an athlete? Do you have more details about that? I don't know much more than that. Though he did say he was good at any sport that requires diving into water. He's also intelligent and good at what he does, but seems apathetic toward other people. And Cardi used to be a competitive swimmer. It's a sport that involves diving into water. He's likely good at it. Servan. Can you tell me about Servan? He manages all the mechanical tinkering for the resistance. Although security devices are his specialty. This guy is my number one suspect uh, because who else would know to activate these bombs? I mean, he, he would know that there were bombs, right? He also knows how to make bombs. Yeah, that's obvious. Bombs? He originally specialized in them, but I doubt he'd do anything flashy, given his personality. He tends to be a shut-in and was bullied in the past. I heard a classmate pushed him into an irrigation channel in Marunamon District as a prank some time ago. He miraculously survived, but he was knocking on death's door for three days. Hmm. He didn't speak to anyone for a few years after that. Machine, even now, is he's traumatized from that close call drowning. He told me he still has flashbacks about it. 
So Ronnie's good at mechanical tinkering all kinds, especially on security devices, but he also knows how to make bombs. Also, Savon once daily drowned in an irrigation channel, which caused him lasting trauma. So something's gonna happen in the water district, and because it's underwater, Savon's not going to be a suspect then, right? So that leaves Icardia as the prime suspect, if you go by that logic. Oh, what about you, uh, Margola? Can you tell me about yourself, Margola? Me? I'm just an ordinary old man. If anything, hardly. I was a former Amaterasu employee. I mentioned this before, but I handled the financials. About the alibi you mentioned, can you prove it in any way? I just told you. I was speaking to customers. You want me to bring them over? Um, we don't have time. No, I don't have time. Yeah. That's not what I just said. Then check the shop security camera. The footage is all here. Unharmed. Here's the footage. Take her with you. Thank you. Given that confidence, I bet his alibi is legit. Yeah. New key. Margolo's alibi. Security footage from Margolai's shop who is talking to a customer at the time of the crime. Alright, what about Miss Psychopath? Haruka. <laughs> Can you tell me about Iruka? The only woman leader in the resistance. She's unruly, with no glamour or charm. Yeah, yeah, I, I gotta figure that one out. She has a ruthless personality, too. Yeah, gotta figure that one out, too. I hear she was once a competitive shooter. She and Shachi often train with firearms together. As you know, Shachi never tried to rely on his gun. What do you mean by competitive shooting? Handguns, sniping, clay pigeons, rifles. She's an athlete who can use anything. Shachi's gun was specially made. It was designed by Aruka. It's ironic that it was used to take his life. It was designed by her, so she could could she have done something to it? Aruka used to be a competitive shooter. She and Shachi often trained with firearms together. Shachi's gun was specially designed and assembled by Aruka. Seems like we got some information about their leaders. I want to hear more, but... Shouldn't you be thinking about the case after you disarm the bomb? If you fail to disarm it, you'll turn into dirty fireworks. Yeah, yeah, that's bad. Right. Let's go and disarm the bomb now. Margola, thank you for the information. If any of the resistance leaders come here, please mention I'm looking for them. Will do. At any rate, you better believe Amaterasu's pulling the strings on this one, too. I won't doubt out. I hope you can upstage them on behalf of Shachi and me. I will do my best. The last bomb is in a secret fort on top of a snowy mountain, right? No, it's 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 in the shrubbery. I told you this before. No, it's in the shrubbery at Etheria Academy. Let's hurry. We can't let it explode. Gotta go fast. So what's gonna happen when we disarm this one? Aruka's tattoo has a tattoo of dual pistols on the left side of her chest. I believe it. <laughs> I pretty much believe that one, absolutely. Oh boy. Go fast! Oh dear lord. Left! Wait, I pressed left! I did! I did! Hurry. 
Hurry! Hurry up and turn green! Hey! Don't move! I know I pressed this left! We will be caught! We have to go now! I must have just missed it. This is bad! This way! <laughs> yeah, I must have just missed it. Like, I, I was probably like a microsecond slow. Okay, that time I got it. Touchdown! Touchdown! <sighs> I like that, that's cool. Are you all right, Fubuki? Yes, I believe I can carry on. God damn it! You know what that reminded me of? It reminded me of, uh... It's been a long time since I played the game. It's like a game that I said maybe I should replay again on the channel sometime. Um, but did Trip become human? Because isn't there a scene where you're like running through traffic and if you fail, like someone could actually die? I think that's, I think that's a thing. I was like looking at my uh, the AXYB and trying not to mess that one up, and then it went left and right, and I think that's what that's what killed me there. The screen changed. This is the last bomb. We still have time, so please remain calm. We got this. I mean, we haven't messed one up yet. What is being assembled? Oh my god. Um. Oh, I got it! I got it! Disarming code accepted. Detonation circuit. Oh, that, that was. I will say that was half a gas and half intuition. Like, I was looking at it, and I thought it was one of the bottom two. I just couldn't figure out which one. And then I saw the uh, the angular pattern, so I'm like, okay, the angular patterns will probably make it look like the other one. So I shifted right, and I, I don't know how I did that one. Confirmed. Detonation circuit severed. Oh. oh, wonderful. It's disarmed. Oh, it came off. Congratulations, Yuma. You have graduated from being a terrorist. Yes! We are free! Wait, is that it? I thought it blowed up anyway. Doesn't this seem too easy? The screen is pitch black and won't turn on. After all that noise about the revolution, there's no closing message. What is the matter, Yuma? You look like the chief when he misses the chance to have a meat bun. I'm surprised it came off so easily. I wouldn't mind a meat bun, though. I was prepared to be strung along by this game a bit longer than this. Perhaps this is the fairness and equality that the terrorists yearn for? You won in a fair game. Your opponent must admit defeat. I don't think they're going to do that. I hope that's the case. How is this fair? There's nothing fair about it. You were framed as a terrorist and forced into a game you didn't agree to. Would someone who does cowardly stuff like that also admit defeat so easily? What are you saying? So you're saying disarming all the bombs doesn't mean our opponent has lost? Ah, uh, yeah. I would actually agree with that one. If that's the case, what was the point of the bomb threat? What was I being made to do? Maybe it's, um... Maybe it was to, like, distract us? From something more important? Fubuki, I don't think this is over yet. Huh? Are there more bombs? No, I think this string of terror acts using the bombs needs to be reconsidered. We still haven't figured out the mastermind behind this case. So now we face whoever is behind this terror conspiracy? <laughs> I have been waiting for this moment. Now we are in an adventure detective story. 
Uh, we've always been in a magic text story. Where do we start our investigation? It's a good question. Uh, that reminds me. I promised I'd meet Kurumi at the hotel. I also want to check out Mara Mara District. Fubuki, let's head to the hotel in Kamasaki District for now. Alright, and so our investigation adventure begins. Alright, let's see. What's next? I'm really fascinated by this story and where it's going. I did not expect it, and it's uh, pretty dang cool. Yeah, it's pretty dang cool. That's what I had to say. Alright, game. Just dial me. I mean, you just gotta be patient sometimes. Sun and Moon Hotel. Back here. Kurumi isn't here yet. Wow. I feel much more relieved being back at the hotel. I hope she's okay. I rarely ever run around like this, so I am feeling quite winded. I was. I, I would be so sad if. Something happened to her. Well, let's rest on the sofa until Kurumi arrives. I hope she's okay. Don't stand. Sit on a sofa. Let me look around first. Vivi is usually here, but he hasn't returned yet. I hope he's safe. Okay, get some free detector points. Black girl and the sheltered skank are both plotting to kill you. If that were to happen, I'd solve the case in a jiffy. I don't think that's going to happen. happen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love when the protagonists are the same page. But yeah, it would be a big tragedy if it did happen. Just, just saying. That would be pretty messed up. You? Huh? Huh? Appear to be C. It seems like the C is some kind of turmoil. Guess he doesn't watch the news. He's missing a big screen to be a master. I wonder how he'd react if he knew there was stairs right in front of him. Like I keep saying, I'm not! I'm not! I'm not! I'm not! I've been framed! It's a one armed man! He was alone with my wife when I came home. Oh, something else to check right here. Yeah. There's no one here now. Okay, well, that was an easy 10 points. Yuma! Bubuki! Thanks for waiting! Ooh, she's alive. Good. I, I, I was worried. <gasps> Kurumi! I'm glad you're okay. We just got. How was your investigation? We just got here. Did everything go okay? Yeah, it went great. Looks like you took care of the bombs on your end. We did what we could. By the way, you don't need to hold hands anymore. I I told you it's a uh, it's for the investigation. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm just teasing. I'm glad. Thank you. Teasing my mask. Is worthy of a vicious boom kill. <laughs> Don't you dare. So, did you find anything out? The peacekeepers were scouring the hideout, but no one was inside the building itself. It was easy to sneak in, but I didn't find any documents or evidence. Maybe all the important stuff is inside that safe. Oh, the one that looks really sturdy? I was unable to open it. But I couldn't come back empty-handed. So, I copied the security camera footage. You're, you're, you're amazing! It's the video from the emergency stairs. I saw you in the footage, so I grabbed it just in case. This girl is sensational. That's great, Kurumi. I wanted to check that footage anyway. No problem. Informants are all about give and take. 
Then how about I take your life? Don't you dare. Let's check the video right now. I'll borrow a device from the front desk. Absolutely. This girl is just amazing. The only person in the video is Yuma. Yeah, that's when we climbed up. I went to the roof following Shachi. The peacekeepers were blocking the indoor stairs, so I used the emergency stairs on the outside. But halfway up, I heard a gunshot, so I ran up the stairs. That's when I saw Shachi's body. I fast forwarded to the relevant footage, but it doesn't seem like anyone else used the emergency stairs. There was one gunshot, and only Shachi was on the roof. He was even holding the murder weapon. Perhaps it is best to consider it a suicide. No! The security footage of the major stairs, no one but you might have shown. So you think Shachi was chased by the peacekeepers, thought the revolution had failed, and took his own life? I disagree. I mean, I thought that in the beginning, but something seems off. Off? How so? To start, was Shachi really being chased by the peacekeepers? If he was fleeing them, he could have taken the emergency stairs. Good point. The peacekeepers weren't near the emergency stairs, so it was a safe way out. Not just that, but... Uh, the door was, like... It wasn't locked, but it was jammed. They had to, like, break it open, right? Maybe he heard your footsteps coming up and mistook you for them. Even so, killing himself before confirming it was a peacekeeper seems too rash. Besides, I only started up the stairs shortly after Shachi ran to the rooftop. There was still time to flee before he heard my footsteps. I see. I see. I see. So there had to be another reason he stayed on the roof. But what could it be? Hmm, that's the problem, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> One of them is just pretending to think. <laughs> Where'd you get the rice ball and the drink? Shachi had time to run away, but he stayed on the roof. Oh, right. This is a bit off topic, but I got some information about the flood in Marnamon District. There was a wireless bug inside the Resistance hideout, and I heard the peacekeepers talking on it. The flooding was due to the Ombre Electric power plant. I, I remember that thing. Ombre Electric power plant? Remember? Kane Ward's hydroelectric power plant that harnesses falling rain. They say it's a clean, green energy source. It gathers rainwater throughout the city and drains it to the power plant. And the power plant was also... Yep. Made by Amaterasu. Who could have guessed an Amaterasu power plant would be a problem right now? Can I words like hydroelectric power plant that harnesses the falling rain? They say it's a clean green energy source. A mysterious suicide, bomb threat, and flooding. If it's all just coincidence, then this place is cursed. I, I mean... It you may not be wrong in that. Well, to be fair, you're the one who's cursed, Master. You may not be wrong about that either. I don't think it's a coincidence. There must be some kind of connection. An Amaterasu power plant. I want to investigate it, but it probably isn't safe. But it could be related, right? Then we have to go. Yes, let's. An exciting adventure awaits us. That's right, Fubuki. Finding the truth itself is an adventure. Absolutely. Yuma, if you hesitate, the truth will get away from you. Well, let's go then. Then again, I'm just repeating what my grandpa said. <laughs> it's getting really hard to say no now. Girls bat their eyes, and Master is suddenly helpless. Oh, shut up. 
Okay, you're probably right. That's not it. Despite the danger, we have to go. We can't let the peacekeepers pursue us forever. All right, let's go to the power plant. Yes, let us all join together and solve this case. Yeah, let's do it. Yep, let's go. Time to head to Marnamon District. Let's not do anything reckless. Uh oh. I found you, you vile criminals. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, oh. I tried. I tried to press left and like, uh, and like, I don't know what happened. I like stubbed my finger against the controller or something. <laughs> Dang it, that should have been a 343. Oh, I'm mad at me. I'm mad at myself for that one. Out of all of them to get captured, it had to be Kurumi. I press the Y button again. God, this happened so fast. Wait, that's enough. Behind us? There they are. Oh, more of them? You have nowhere to run. That was bad. Give yourself up. This is bad. Yeah, I just said that. Are you kidding me? We're gonna jump on the truck. Look. Right, she Let's said it so loud and then Krumi is so soft. Ah! Oh, oh, that was not A. Oh. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Too bad for you. That was B. You have nowhere to run. This is bad. I must act. Sorry, muscle memory's killing me with this game. There they are. <laughs> I wonder what happened if I played like a dark picture game on the Switch. With me like totally screwing up all the QTEs all the time. It would be really difficult. Or I may remember and then I don't know the PlayStation control anymore. Right! Yeah. Let's go. Damn it! They got away! That's a nice getaway. I like how the game doesn't punish you. I mean, you probably will get less detective points because you messed up, but the game doesn't punish you for failing. It's not like it's a game over or stuff like that. I, I like it. Yeah, Mahamar District. Meaning, of course, is relatively crime-free compared to other districts. Whew. That's really cool how they jumped on the truck, though. Oh, my gosh. What happened? This isn't just a flood. It's all underwater. Yeah! Marmon District was so severely flooded that the water level reached the second floor of buildings. It looks like those slums we left. What was that place called? Doya District? I know I have made the same mistake in the past, but... Yeah, Story District. And once again, I like how there's like a little boat just chilling right there. Did everyone in the city leave their water running? <laughs> Fubuki, you're so funny. I think she was serious. From what I can tell, there aren't any peacekeepers around here. I'm sure they prioritize eliminating the resistance over rescuing citizens. But now's our chance to see the power plant if you want. The power plant is up ahead, right? How do we get there? Oh, there's a boat right there chilling for us. Hey, I see a boat over there. Maybe someone used it to evacuate. Let's borrow it. I've never been on a boat before. So excited. Well, technically, you like float. You Is don't really need a boat. Really that interesting, given you can float. <laughs> <laughs> it's about the mood. You just don't 
understand the way to a death god's heart, master. I swear, you and I are so on the same page for some reason. Let's get a new thing. Okay, here we go. Crosswalks detect pedestrians stop traffic for them as such it's fairly uncommon to see people waiting for the signal to change. Master, you gotta hurry! To the power plant! Hurry, hurry! Time for the tutorial! Flood and more and more districts full of flowing debris. Find a way to the power plant using the boat. The boat can go forward and turn left to right, but it'll stop if it hits debris, so proceed with caution. We're riding a boat. It's cool. That is amazing. Yuma, you know how to pilot a boat? Absolutely. I can do anything. Surprise too. You're amazing, Yuma. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, it's pretty much sunk. Are there sharks and whales in here? That would be it's not the ocean, so I doubt it. A lot of what Yuma, watch out! Where did that thing come from? What was that? It looks like a big safe. There's a bunch of other stuff drifting by, like desks and chairs. I'm sure it flowed out from the flooded buildings. I am embarrassed to sound so naive, but a safe is a box where you store valuables, right? Yeah, that's right. If so, is it safe for something so precious to be floating around? Ah, uh, I see what you did there. It should be fine. Airtight safes float because of the air inside. Oh, really? If nothing else, informants sure know their trivia. Hey, she's smart. It'd be terrible if we crashed into it. Be careful, Yuma. That safe. I think I saw it somewhere. Yeah, is that from the resistance? The security function makes it the best safe there is. I don't remember it being pink. Nowadays, even the bank and other important facilities use it in the commercial area of Marunamon District. It's made by trusty old Amaterasu Corp, after all. Nowadays, even it's used. So this is a different safe. They just use the same design. That's right. It's the same as the one at the hideout. It's supposed to be widely used in Marunamon District. Something about this bothers me. Sorry, safe use in important facilities in Modern Mind District, including the bank. We better avoid bumping into the stuff drifting by. Otherwise, we might capsize. I, know, I will do my best. No idea this boat is sturdy or not. Driving a boat? Oh, what's that? Uh. There are bicycles mixed in with all the trash flying by. Barrel drums and containers, too. Hmm. This garbage kind of reeks. Let's go already. For now. This place is very safe. Maybe a good idea yes. to leave. Yes, I think that it would be wise. Say you're not in the boat. You're like floating behind us. Plant. All right, let's get going. This is... Is this a drainage pipe? The water slipped away some pretty huge things. Oh? Goodness, I think the pipe just moved. Hey! It came falling down. We'd be in big trouble. Maybe we should move away from it. Yeah, let's do that. There doesn't appear to be anyone here. Maybe all the workers evacuated. There wasn't a blackout, so the building should still be functioning. This place is working hard, even while flooded. I should follow. Hey, I think we can go in through there. Oh, hold on. Let me go back to that. Not that one. No. This place is working hard, even while flooded. I should follow its example and keep working hard, too. Is this me? Do they look like exactly the same almost? Like, look at them. The, her eyes is slightly lighter, but they look similar. Like they have the same expression on their face. Wait, don't go alone. It's dangerous. 
It's all right. No one's here. Let's hurry and check this place out. She is a rather good informant. She deserves respect for putting her life on the line for the sake of intel. Yeah, she's pretty awesome. I doubt I could be so bold. Oh. <laughs> Making our way to the power plant now. Looks like a regular office. Maybe they do administrative stuff here. There's some tea half gone on the table. People must have left in a hurry. Let's check out this room. We might find out what happened here. Investigation. You can do it, Master! I will do my best. Are you doing a handstand on the printer? Like, what are you doing? Oops. Sorry, wrong button. Let's look. I'm glad it wasn't flooded. Hope we can find some information. Master! Master! Get investigating! Don't lose that flatty! Wow, she's going all Super Saiyan. Evil Super Saiyan. Out. It's too early to go back. Well, let's look around some more. Well, I got some here too. Yuma, take a look at this document. The emergency notice to all power plant employees? According to this, two accidents occurred near the power plant. Two accidents? Yeah. In the first one, the drainage channel that brings in rainwater to Marunomon District collapsed. It seems like there was a separate explosion at the drainage channel exactly when the phone booth blew up. Another explosion near the water drainage channel? Is that why water overflowed into Marunomon District? Where did that explosion happen at? No. If it was just an accident, there'd still be plenty of drainage capacity. I really think that was all a diversion. You know, the uh, the cameras. The city flooded because another accident pushed it over the edge. What accident? There's a reservoir upstream from the power plant. That's where they adjust the water used for generating power. But the valve that adjusts the water flow is malfunctioning right now. Malfunctioning? The valve's locked open, causing water to keep flowing. I see. So they couldn't drain it quick enough, and it overflowed into Marnomon District. I highly doubt this all happened by accident. Mm, it didn't. Yeah, there's no doubt this was intentional. But why? The flying around the power plant is thought to have been caused by two accidents. I probably believe it's probably... What's his name? Icardi? Is the athlete, the swimmer? But then again, Servan has the technology. Yuma, I believe this is about the power plant, right? Clean energy by Amaterasu. This advanced generator efficiently generates electricity with rainwater. A tap water reservoir is used to generate electricity. The turbines are powered by only natural water flow. It works like a water wheel, making it completely safe. Drainage is controlled as needed through generating power, so there's no risk of blackouts. As far as I can tell, this appears like an ideal facility. This area is at a lower elevation in Kanai Ward, so rainwater tends to pull up here. And that's probably why it was the first place to flood. I smell it. I smell treasure. We must take it back with us. No. That would make us thieves. <laughs> Door here. Time for a little break. Are you really sleeping on the couch? Really? Really, Shinigami? I do love that so much, though. The fact that, you know, she has that personality when you go near things. Won't open. It's stuck from the other side. 
Maybe water is pressing against the door. The water pressure could be keeping it closed. Oh, right. Looks like no one is really here. It must be serious if even the security's gone. Well, look around. What could they even do? Uh, the water on the other side of the door is exerting too much pressure for it to open. Power my office door. I think that's about it. Yeah, I don't... I don't see anything else here. I was hoping for a shimmer. But... I see absolutely nothing. Yep. Finished! That should be everything I can investigate here. I think I understand the gist of this power plant. Arena! Oh my gosh! Oh, is that good? What was that? That's trouble. These keepers, what are they doing here? Come to mess up our day is what they're what they're doing. Uh-huh, with a really, really big hammer, I'm sure. From Dominic's freakishly strong hands! Oh, yeah, that works, too. <laughs> Yuma, what do we do? We can escape through that door. No code, it won't open. Yeah, I mean, we just tried checking that door. Master! <laughs> Calm down! Right now, we have to s stay calm. Looks like you're the one that's panicking, Shinigami. Whoa! You're out of time. Why in trouble? The terrorist really is here. They sold out one of their own. <laughs> that's so funny. You terrorist clown! Look, Dominic's laughing his butt off. Yeah, he's 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 having a a, a really big. Bucca's laugh there. <laughs> My gosh, this guy is. Oh, I, I hope this guy. Part of me wants to believe this guy isn't evil or anything or corrupt. He's just a man put in his suit and like designed to like go against the wills or something. Sold out their own? We got an anonymous tip you were here. A certain friend was worried about your future. What's going on? Someone from the resistance reported us? I'm not sure what's happening here. Yuma. Please do it, Fubuki. Now, now. Don't try moving without permission. She can only go back so far, though. Oh, she went really far back. There's some tea half gone on the table. People must have left in a hurry. Wait, when did you two start holding hands? What are you doing? <laughs> <sighs> this is as far as I can turn back time. You, you did amazing, Fubuki. Fubuki? What's the matter? Did something happen? I'll explain later, Kurumi. The peacekeepers are on their way. Yeah, we need to move. We need to get out of here. Whoa, 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 what? Oh dear lord, they're already here. I was about to do the old you are surrounded, so come out with your hands up thing. <laughs> Why are you out here? We're screwed. We can't go back far enough. Already surrounded. We have to turn back time again. Can't. She's. Unless you can do it. Yeah, I cannot. Once I have turned back time, I cannot turn it back any further. Yuma? Oh no! Yuma? Hello? What you talking about? Now, at this moment, the main focus is here! 
If this was reality TV, your faces would be totally blurred out right now. Hey, Dominic, you love throwing terrorists in the can, right? Yeah, ma. We found some terrorists for you to crush. Squish them into cans and ship them off to Director Yomi. Okay? okay. Yeah, ma. <sighs> Sorry. If I was just a bit stronger. What do we do, Yuma? Shinigami, I need your help. We can't get captured here. The bomb threat, flooding, and Shachi's death. I have to solve those mysteries. That's where yours truly comes in. Yes, I need your help, Shinigami. Right. Shinigami, please help me. Thank you! The target is the mysterious death of that Shachi guy. And we now have enough clues for that. Here goes, Master! Tell your mom to follow you ready! I wonder if all all the girls are gonna come with us. Kurumi and Fubuki. It'll be the first time uh you know, two other people joined us. Let's go! Oh I still think we're going to come back, but I've said that every single time. So we'll, 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 well, let's hold out hope, my friends. Come on. Oh, time has stopped. You're not surprised? Well, this is not out of the ordinary for members of the Clockford family. But who did this? She did? Oh, Kermit's like frozen. <laughs> nice to meet you. Apologies for the delayed introduction. Oh, that's a shame. I'd we'll love to take her with me. The proper introduction. Pleased to meet you. Aww. Oh, hanging, spitting, but sweet. Wow, she really is like Fubuki. This is terrible, Yuma. It appears we're both falling. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> Down the rabbit hole we go. Let's go find out the truth of this investigation, but that's not to wait for the next episode of Master Detective Archives Rain Code for the Nintendo Switch. I want to thank you for everything. You all are the best in the one YouTube community and all of YouTube. And I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, Please remember that you matter, and you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.